It's taken me some time to collectively think about how I wanted to say say this. Um, obviously, by the title of this video, it's talking about acne. And I think <clears throat> for a lot of people, it can be triggering or it can, you know, make them feel less confident about themselves. If that makes any sense. I'm honestly not even sure how to go about like sharing my story and my struggles with it. But I'm going to share it the best way that I can and, you know, talk about how I overcame the struggles with it. Um, so I started getting acne really bad when I was about 12. I'm 18. I just turned 18 in October. And so that's a good, uh, what is that? Six years of having acne. And there were times where I didn't want to go places because my face broke out so bad and I wasn't allowed to wear makeup until I was 16, which honestly I didn't understand for quite some time, but that then finally came to realization that I'm beautiful how I am. I don't need makeup to cover up my scars or my acne, which honestly in all reality, it makes it worse. Like I've tried to cover things up before and it just progressed it. Um, I will have pictures throughout this video just showing you guys what it kind of looked like. Um, I don't have pictures from when I was younger, but um, the past year I have pretty much taken pictures of my face and what it's looked like and how far I've came. And so I'll just kind of like put the dates out there for you guys and just share what has helped me. Um, I remember when I was probably about 12 or 13, I had to go to the dermatologist about some warts on my hands because I used to have warts on like my fingers, which they're gone now, obviously. And I remember just mentioning it to the dermatologist like, I've been having these breakouts, you know, I'm sure you can see them. Um, and honestly, I really don't think that she cared. Um, she was like, oh yeah, just go get like a salicylic acid face wash, which I did. And then she prescribed me tretinoin, which honestly, I don't think helped. It only made it worse, but that's just my opinion. And if it works for you, that's great. But, um, it really just dried my face out more and made it irritated and red. I tried multiple face washes up until like about a year ago. Um... I tried CeraVe, I tried Neutrogena, I tried a every drugstore brand that you can think of. Nothing worked. Um, then my sister started getting acne really bad and so she got Proactive and um, I tried that with her and Proactive worked for a little bit but then kind of just like failed me which you know everyone's skin type is different so different things are going to work for everyone and so it didn't work so I stopped doing it. My sister then um, got a medication for her skin, which only made her sick. And so, you know, I was like, hey, like, you know, I'm going to try this out. And it just made me sick as well. So I've tried everything from creams to face washes to prescriptions. Nothing has worked for me. Um, so this summer, July, I'll put the picture right here. Um, this is what my skin looked like. It's going to be a few pictures. Um, it was really bad. It was like they were... Um, I get like cystic acne, which is like under the skin. I do get like whiteheads and blackheads, but it's very painful. It's red, it's itchy, it's irritated. That's what I went through this whole summer. Um, need I not remind you, I'm in college, I'm out of high school. So it's kind of embarrassing being older and having acne, but I've realized that that's what makes me, me and I should be okay with it. And so... I would start wearing makeup just to cover my acne up and it would only make it worse. Um, and recently, I would say in August of this year, 2021, I discovered Curology. Um, I had heard about Curology about last, like around last year, um, 2020, but it wasn't available in our state yet. So like I couldn't get it to me. So I just like, you know, forgot about it. Um, and so this year it was finally made available in my state um and it was super easy um it only cost five dollars to just pay for shipping for your first month and honestly it has changed my life um so i'm gonna kind of like do a screen recording of like what you can go through you just basically sign up with your email you sign up with your name um you take like this little skin quiz thing like describing what your skin goals are you submit a few pictures, you submit an ID because you do need to be 18 years or older or you need to have a parent do it for you. Um, so you're just gonna like take a picture of your face, like what you're struggling with, of all angles, like the side, the front, and then the other side. 
Um, they also do like um, body wash for like back knee and like acne on your chest. So after you do that, then um, you will get um, like assigned a dermatologist, a provider, um, and it's super easy. They've been very nice, great customer service. So you'll just talk with them, um, discussing your skin goals. They'll diagnose you. I wouldn't necessarily like diagnose, but there's different types of acne. And so I think I had, it was like some type of rash type thing and then cystic acne. And then I wanted to um, help with scarring. And then after you do that, they will prescribe you your prescription personally made for you. Here is mine. The bottles are really cute. Um, I just get the small one every month just because I don't really use it that often. Um, so it has, well, I'm just gonna cover up my personal information, but it just has your name. Um, and then it just has the ingredients that are put on it and you just apply this every night. Um, I don't know um it has a really super easy like pump like that and you just put it on your face like that super easy very light it's not heavy with your first month you also get ah, you also get the moisturizer depending on how your skin type is you can either get this gel one or you get the rich moisturizer i got the gel one because i don't really have dry skin anymore um, it hydrates without clogging. Um, this one's a little dirty because it's been in my makeup bag. Um, but I've had this since my first month just because I use it so lightly. It's such a great light moisturizer. And then you'll also get the face wash, which I ran out of and didn't keep the bottle. But I'll put a picture of it here. So that's what you get in your first month for $5. You get your personalized prescription that you apply nightly. You get your moisturizer that you apply in the morning and the night. And you get the face wash. So you use the face wash and the moisturizer every morning and night. And then you'll use your prescribed, um medication every night um this is what my face looks like now i don't know if you guys can see it very well but honestly it's come such a long way and i am so much more confident in my skin like i go like this morning i got up literally put mascara on that's all that i have on um put some moisturizer on my face fixed my hair and walked out the door and went to the store so confidently um, I go to work most of the time with no makeup on. I go to church with no makeup on just because I feel a lot more confident in my skin. Is my skin perfect? No, it's not. Um, do I still have scarring? Do I still get breakouts? Yes. Like I get some small breakouts like these. This is all scarring. So I'm trying to get that to go away and then have one small breakout. And then my forehead, I don't know. It's just curology has honestly changed my life looking at what my skin looked like in July of this year versus what it looks like now. I'm personally, I'm so much more confident. Um, my boyfriend, like I tell him all the time, I'm just like, uh, recently I've just been like, look at my skin. It's like working so well. Um, just besides curology, some of the other things that have helped me, I started getting on like some vitamins. Um, I recently got these. These are the Hello Bello Hair Skin and Nails. Um, they're just a strawberry. They're just, um, they're really soft gummies. You take two a day. And I've been doing that for about two weeks now. And I honestly think that this has played a role in it. Also, I've been drinking a lot of water. Water is definitely something that I don't, I didn't drink a lot of. Um, I worked with fast food and I worked in a restaurant. So like it was so easy to constantly drink soda and sugar. But I've been trying to lay off of all of that. And it's honestly so like when you know that it's going to change your life it makes you want to do it even more. And so for me, taking my vitamins and drinking water constantly has like been such a motivation for me because I know that this is my angle and I'm super happy. I know this is not the final product of what my skin's gonna come out to look like, but it's made me so much more happier. Um, another thing that I did use was the extracting tools. They're actually in my house right now, but um, I'll put a picture up right here these things i got them at i think i got them at ross's or tj maxx they have them at walmart you can get them on amazon so like i used to like pop them with my fingers first off that's unsanitary don't do that um second of all it irritates the skin around the actual like breakout and so buying these made it so much easier for me to like get extract the gross stuff out you can just, um, they have different ends, uh, they have different points, you know, curves. Um, you just pop it and you just drag it along it and it honestly gets everything out 
without irritating the skin around the actual breakout. But honestly, Curology has changed my life and I hope that for anyone out there who may be watching this, this can be um, an encouragement for you. Um, I'm not saying like, oh, you have acne, go get Curology. I'm just saying that you are you and you are beautiful and that your acne does not define you and don't let anyone tell you any differently. Um, you don't need to cover it up because that's what makes you you. Um, I don't know. I just feel like there's so it's such it's a topic that's not spoken about because it can be so sensitive to other people. I'll have like some people say sometimes like, oh, have you been washing your face? Like, oh my gosh, it's breaking out. First off, don't say that to someone who is struggling with acne because those who wash their face can still get acne and those who don't wash their face sometimes like I have a sister who does not wash her face does not moisturize zero acne like has the clearest skin ever and I'm like what the heck I've done everything it's nothing wrong with the person it's just genetics and you know life happens so I don't know whenever people have said things about it I just kind of like brush it off but honestly there's this part of me that's like I just want to ask like are you okay like, what is wrong with you to ask me that question? Like, do do I wash my face? Yes, I wash my face. <laughs> um, so, if someone has said something to you, don't, don't make them feel like, don't make them let you feel like you aren't good enough or you aren't pretty or you aren't beautiful because you are. And honestly, I hope this is an encouragement for people out there knowing that this is what my face used to look like and this is the point to where we've come to now. Um... I'm going to leave the Keology link in the description. This is not sponsored at all because, I don't know, it's not sponsored. I just wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like it would be such an encouragement in coming up with the new year. You could make yourself goals to drink more water, take your vitamins, and just be a better person for yourself. Take your health more seriously. And I don't know, I really don't know what else to say besides that. I hope this is an encouragement. I know I've said that like a thousand times. But honestly, you're beautiful how you are. Don't let anyone tell you any differently. And go check out Curology.